Hi all my friends on YouTube, I'm Stephen King and welcome to King Country. In this video, we're going to be hiking along the Barrington Tops National Park Plateau and it's going to look a little bit like this. Now, this is very slow going. Running out of daylight. Shit. Steep climb, dude. Just loving it so much. All right, so this week, we are starting from the Barrington Trail trailhead. Um, as you've seen, it's um, a bit cold and wet this morning. We are parked. Um, it's about 22.10. Let's get this rolling. So I was talking to a mate of mine, Murat, Murat, this week, and I told him last weekend I'd been out hiking in the uh, Barrington Tops, and he was like, oh, I'd been there, and uh, he'd saw wild horses, and I was like, there is horses. So there are horses in the Barrington Tops. It's a very different uh, area to last weekend. Very uh, sort of alpine-y, really. Really beautiful. This reminds me of that time I went hiking um, in the Barrington Tops. Oh, what have we got here? We got some, we got some, we got some kangaroo mateys. Mate, this is absolutely spectacular. Like, this is all just like an alpine plateau. I, well, I don't know what I was really expecting, but I wasn't really expecting Barrington Tops to be so alpine. Uh, we were at about 1,500 metres elevation. We are at, I, I believe, Murray's campsite. This is accessible to four-wheel drives during the summer months. Anyway... There we go, mate. Check that. There's your trail side delights. That's your tuna with mushrooms, with snow peas on a wrap. Perfect to smash by the trail. It's just the um, final push up to uh, top of Mount Barrington. Whew. Well, there's kind of this through the trees. There's no trail up there, but... If you haven't summited it, you haven't summited it. Whoa! Brutal. Right. Now we're on the summit of Mount Barrington. Okay. This is the top of Mount Barrington. Also, check out the cloud. How much does that look like a snow cloud? All right, this is getting good now. I'm not really following in anything. Um, it all just sort of disappeared. I've just seen this. Is that a bicentennial trail marker? It is too. It's a bus. It goddamn is too. It's a bicentennial trail marker. You never know where you're going to come across them. So this seems to be some sort of remnants of a trail. I don't know. We're just going to sort of follow a, the ridge down. I know we've got to end up down there somewhere. Anyway, the adventure begins. All right, now we're getting into some proper hiking. All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we gotta make sure we go down and land. Can you see that thing through the bushes there? Yeah, we gotta go out along that and then down there. Watch that you don't go 
if you see that drops quite steeply yeah that drops quite steeply yeah and there's no real trail to be seen all right check this out so <laughs> drops down there we're just on this nose thing and then drops down there so as you see dropping down thin spur dropping down we go across to that knob all right once again absolutely no trail to speak of yeah this is uh this is real walking around in the bush by yourself dude this is so freaking awesome i'm having such a good time check it out that drops off into a valley here we are in our nice little uh, i'll call it a ridge now it was a spur before um and then drops down there's a valley over there that's where we were before we've come from up there ah oh, just loving it so much so much mate very 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 steep and then it's just freaking awesome Dude, check that out. Snap. I think it would have been just easier if I just went up and over that berg and straight down. We're going down this way somewhere. Yeah, it's uh pretty steep here, like 50%. I don't really, really want to be here. I want to be up on that ridge up there. I'm sort of following a trail line on the GPS. Um, I should know better and just follow like topographical features. I can't really film very much while I do this. Chance of having an accident, but it's all loose and shit. Now, this is very slow going. Well, I really needed the water point, but however, this is a really shitty place. It's full of lot lawyer vine. It's like half burnt out. Yeah, I don't want to hang around here too long, but I needed the water. I've got two hours till dark. Um, do I better get a wriggle on, actually? All right, we got to, um... Oh, God, there's nothing to bloody step on. Running out of daylight. Shit. Nowhere near anywhere we can camp. Um, we got to get out of here. So we're just going to, uh... Oh, shit, what are we going to do? Get along here somewhere. Across here. Right, I have to go over there. Look what's in front of me. All these big massive trees and logs. They're not easy to get over. I'm probably gonna have to go up and around them. I wasn't really expecting a weekend like this. Ugh. All right, come on, I'm gonna put this away. All right, I finally got back on top of this spur. We've got some sunshine. We're in the wind again. That does not look like a really good uh, water source to me. It appears I have found it. It's pretty swampy. There's like a bus stop here now. I was like looking for somewhere to camp. The road's right on four o'clock being camp time. The top of it here should do very nicely. Just sitting around the old campfire enjoying a little, little sneaky beverage I got here. Yeah, I was just sitting here looking at a map. Maybe I should have kept walking a little bit further. That is very nice to wake up to. It looks heaps better. All right, it's um, 10 past six in the morning. It's time to get some coffee on, get packed up and get moving as quick as possible. All right, it is 7.47 before eight o'clock. That is kind of a record for me.
Here's another one of the uh, Bicentennial Trail markers. The Bicentennial Trail runs from like northern Queensland to southern Victoria, some three and a half thousand kilometres. Ah! Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. We are officially not actually in the national park anymore. It'd be good if I paid attention. Um, I have walked way past my turn off. Who knows what's coming up? Um. Okay, this makes a difficult day even more difficult. Um, this is exactly where I need to go in, and yeah, there's a big sign here that no public access. Yeah, my options aren't good. The only option is, is to backtrack. There's, there's one other option, maybe, to get across. Today's gonna be quite the day. I'm gonna get into the National Park again soon. I might be able to get up one of these, one of those big ridges get across to the next ridge. So yeah, that one up there would take me up to Mount Barrington. There's no trail there, but if I can get one ridge over, it sort of cuts out like a corner. Yeah, depending on terrain and everything, la 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 la. I'm following this, but we want to get up on top of that ridge there. So yeah, quite the, uh, Quite the adventurous morning we got going on here. Steep climb, dude. Like 50%, eh? Hey? Check it. How awesome's that? All right, I'm just coming up to the base of the uh, final push. It's steep. It's seriously, seriously steep. All right, here's the fascinating topographical feature I was looking for. So it dips, dips down in there. And then it's created this like ramp here. Just been chipping away at it. Like it's pretty steep, I don't know, like 40%. You can see the summit up there. But yeah, it's got um yeah, it's got a little bit of a kick in it just at the end. That was uh extremely hard. Ah voila! I'm on a fire trail. I'll be back on trails for the rest of the day. Mount Barrington's over there. We've come down. We've gone along there, back, and then zhoot, straight up here. Temperatures dropped significantly. There's a bit of wind. Enough of going uphill. Been a lot of uphill this morning. <sighs> Fucking climbing, man. Dude, been climbing for hours. I am back on the plateau. Whew. We got, I don't know, 10k back to the car. Um, I've absolutely smashed it. I've done like seven and a half kilometers in an hour. Very glad to be back at the car. Time for some food. So that brings us to the end of another episode of King Country. I hope you had a lovely time. I certainly did. And, uh, We'll check you next time.